A three-year-old boy is alive tonight thanks to a fast-moving neighbor. The child's family says one second little Chandler was sitting with them on the back porch of their Harrison home, and the next minute he was gone. But tonight they are thanking the man who followed his instinct down a ramp onto a dock and into the water. News Channel 9's Carly Flynn Morgan has more. Well, I don't know if I ever met you. This yeah. is a heck of a way to meet your oh, neighbors, but it's, uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm John and Sandy. John and Sandy Woodward didn't meet their neighbor, Brent Wade, because they needed to borrow a cup of sugar or some milk. Wade saved their grandson's life. I said, good Lord, thank you. I was here. Oh, I know. I know. He, he wouldn't have made it. No. He was, there was nobody else around. No. While snacking on blueberries outside in the warm afternoon sun, the family noticed little Chandler gone. It took just a few seconds for him to slip away and work his way down to the water of Wolf Teaver Creek. But while sealing his dock, Wade heard some noise behind his house. He ran down to the creek where Chandler had slipped on some rocks, his head underwater. I, I saw his head bobble and I just reached down and grabbed and pulled. Wade slipped on those same rocks going underwater himself, but he gained enough footing to pull Chandler to safety. Yes. We say that Chandler's got little angels around him because well, he is. Well, you're I was his today. Sure. The Woodwards say they're counting their blessings. Instead of losing a grandson, they've gained a friend. Come back, we'll, see me anytime. Bring we'll him, him over that. here because yes. <laughs> I'll always feel kind of part of him now. Carly Flynn Morgan, News Channel 9. EMS checked out Chandler at the scene and said he seemed just fine, but his family decided to take him to the hospital for a checkup just to be safe.